Hello everybody, it's your boy Muhammad here with another lesson. In this lesson, lesson 13 of Zero to Hero in Arabic course, we are going to touch on many things. The topic we are going to go through are conversation at currency exchange, words of lesson, and we're going to have some points about writing and, speak and speaking in Arabic, roots of imperative verbs in present perfect tense in Arabic, and demonstrated pronouns, and then we're going to have some expression and roots of verbs. Without any further ado, let's get started. As usual, we're going to start off with conversation. في مكتب التصريف at the office of the exchange. The first of all, I just want to read and then we're going to have some explanation and translation. السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام تفضل أخوية العفو أريد أصرف فلوسي عندي تومان وأريد دينار اشكد عندك فلوس خمس ملايين تومان اشكد أسعار الدينار بالتومان Okay guys, في مكتب التصريف في basically is preposition and it means in, in or at. Okay, and there's an equivalent for this preposition and it is ib, ib or b. في المكتب or بالمكتب or بالبيت at the home or in the home. Okay, في مكتب التصريف في means in or at. In مكتب مكتب means office and التصريف means exchange at the office of exchange السلام عليكم سلام عليكم and basically means hello and وعليكم السلام and in response to the hello we say عليكم السلام تفضل أخوية تفضل أخوية تفضل means go ahead or please but in this context it basically means go ahead and أخويا means brother, okay? تفضل أخويا أخويا or خويا خويا or أخويا basically means brother and الصراف means cashier the man who exchanged the money we call it الصراف الصراف العفو أريد أصرف فلوسي أريد أصرف فلوسي عندي تمان وأريد دينار العفو means excuse me أريد أريد means I want and أصرف means I exchange I want to exchange فلوسي فلوسي means my money فلوس means money and فلوسي with attached pronouns means my money فلوسي عندي تومان وأريد دينار I have a تومان and تومان is an Iranian currency if you don't know Tuman is Iranian currency. I need Tuman. I have a Tuman and I read dinar. And I want dinar. Okay? And sometimes when you are speaking fast, and instead of saying wa'arid, you can say wa'arid. Wa'arid turns into wa'arid. Wa'arid, wa'arid, wa'arid. Okay? Ishkida indik flus. Ishkida indik flus. How much money do you have? Ishkid basically means how much? How much? Ishkid. Aindik means you have. And for female, we say aindik. Aindik means you have. And flus means money. How much money do you have? Ishkid aindik flus. Khamis milayin tuman. Ishkid sa'ar ad dinar bit tuman. Khamis milayin tuman. And khamis milayin tuman means 5 million tuman. Tuman. 5 million tuman. Khamis means five and malayin means million and tuman is an Iranian currency. Ishkid sa'ar ad dinar bit tuman. Ishkid means how much and sa'ar. Sa'ar means price and a dinar means dinar and bit tuman means to the tuman. And instead of saying tuman, you can use other currencies like the like dollar. You can say ishkid sa'ar ad dinar bit dollar. اشكد سعر الدينار بالدولار كل الف دينار يساوي واحد وعشرين الف تومان كل الف دينار يساوي واحد وعشرين الف تومان كل كل or كل basically means each الف دينار means thousand دينار الف means thousand and يساوي 
يساوي means equals to equals to واحد وعشرين twenty one ألف تومان twenty one thousand تومان كي كلا ألف دينار يساوي واحد وعشرين ألف تومان زين إيش كت راح يصيرن زين إيش كت راح يصيرن well how much will they cost or how much will it cost زين إيش كت راح يصيرن زين means well or good and إيش كت means how much and راح basically is the verb to make the sentence or verbs future okay it's in a future word راح 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 يصيرن means will they cost and يصيرن literally means become but in this context we have to translate it to cost okay how much will they cost زين شكت راح يصيرن how much will they cost in the صراف حوالي ميتين وثمانية وثلاثين ألف دينار حوالي ميتين وثمانية وثلاثين ألف دينار حوالي means about ميتين basically means two hundred and وثمانية وثلاثين ألف دينار means thirty eight thousand دينار ألف means thousand and ثمانية means eight and وثلاثين means thirty لازم املي هالاستمارة لازم املي هالاستمارة Do I have to fill out this form or this document? لازم means have to or must or should املي املي means I fill out and هالاستمارة means this form استمارة basically means form or document and هالاستمارة means this form إي نعم من فضلك وياك جواز إي نعم من فضلك وياك جواز إي نعم basically means yes and إي is the synonym for نعم then these two both are synonym إي and نعم they both means yes and من فضلك means please and وياك جواز mean means is passport with you وياك جواز ويا basically means with for example وياك means with you and وياي means with me and جواز means passport اي نعم من فضلك وياك جواز اي نعم تفضل اي نعم تفضل اي نعم means yes and تفضل means in this context basically means here you go or here you are شكرا رجاء وقحنا شكرا رجاء وقحنا شكرا means thanks and رجاء means please and وقحنا means signs here وقع is basically imperative verb and means signs and احنا means here تفضل الدنانير مالتك جاهزة تفضل الدنانير مالتك جاهزة تفضل means here you go or here you are and الدنانير الدنانير basically is the plural one of the dinar it's the plural one and means dinars and الدنانير مالتك means your dinars okay your dinars and جاهزة means already تفضل الدنانير مالتك جاهزة ممنون منك ممنون منك ممنون basically means grateful ممنون منك means I'm grateful from you عفوا حبيبي اتمنى لك سفرة سعيدة وممتعة عفوا حبيبي اتمنى لك سفرة سعيدة وممتعة عفوا حبيبي means you're welcome my dear عفوا literally means excuse me and sometimes in some context we have to translate it as an excuse me and we use it when we want to ask someone when we initiate our conversation we use this F1 but in this context but in this context it basically means you're welcome Habibi and Habibi means my dear 
You're welcome, my dear. أتمنالك أتمنالك I wish you أتمنى means I wish and لك means for you سفرة سعيدة وممتعة Nice and enjoyable trip سعيدة means nice and ممتعة means enjoyable and سفرة means trip Okay guys, we have done with conversation part and now we're going to have some vocabulary and words of lesson المفردات the first word is iflus. Iflus basically means money. For example, iflus raqiyya. Iflus raqiyya. Iraqi money. Or iflus iraniyya. Iranian money. Iranian money. Iflus iraniyya. Dinar. Dinar. Dinanir. And dinanir is a plural one. And it means dinars. And the next one is khurda, khurda or khurda. The both one is correct, and it basically means the change or coin. As you know, change is money returned after paying for something with more money than it cost. Okay. And the next one is check, check. In English, we have this as well. And check is basically an instrument with dated and signed that the person that to whom is check is written can withdraw the money. Okay. And the next one, عمله صعبة. عمله صعبة. عمله صعبة means the currency. The currency. أريد وصل من فضلك. أريد وصل من فضلك. I want receipt, please. Already means I want. Wasil. Wasil means received. And minful like means please. Hisab. Hisab or hisab. Hisab. Account. Account. And the plural one. Hisabat. Hisabat or hisabat. Accounts. And the next word is. Qarv. Qarv. And the card basically means loan, loan. Silfe, silfe. Silfe also means loan. And qurb and silfe are synonyms. And both means loan. Hisab jawri. Hisab jawri. Current account. But for a saving account, we say hisab tawfir. Hisab توفير bank 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 is a bank bank and for plural one we say بنوك بنوك and in Arabic there is another word for bank and it is مصرف مصرف means bank and plural one مصارف مصارف صراف Saraf. Saraf means exchange. We can translate it as a place that we exchange our money, or we can also translate it as a person who exchanged money. We say in English cashier. Okay. And verb for exchanging in Arabic is tasrif. Tasrif, exchanging. Okay. And in order to conjugate, أصرف, أصرف, أني أصرف. In previous lessons, we have been taught actually how we can conjugate these verbs. In order to conjugate verbs in Arabic, we need to know the roots of verbs. The root of past tense verb is صرف, and for present verbs is يصرف. صرف, يصرف. If you haven't watched the previous lessons, please make sure to check it out because it's really essential lessons. And the next word is رجاءً. رجاءً. رجاءً means please, please. If you want to ask someone something, you can start off your dialogue or conversation with this. رجاءً. أريد. أريد 
read means I want I want and the root of this verb is rad yirid rad is a past tense and yirid is present tense rad and yirid he wanted he wants rad means he wanted and yirid means he wants bidun bidun or bile bile for example bile zahme or bele zahme bele zahme and it means with no disturbing or with no annoying and you use this phrase when you want to ask someone something you can use this phrase bele zahme bele zahme or another example bele chizib ihchi li al haqiqa bele chizib ihchi li al haqiqa with no lying, with no lie, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Bile chizib means with no lying or with no lie. Ihchili means speak with me or tell me. Il haqiqa. Il haqiqa means the truth. Speak with me the truth or tell me the truth. And the next one, Igdor. Igdor. I can. I can. And with knowing the root of this verb, you can conjugate it for anybody you want. Gidar. Gidar. The root for past tense and for present tense, we say yigdar. Gidar and yigdar. Se'ar. Se'ar. Se'ar means price. And the plural one is as'ar. As'ar. Toba'an. Toba'an. Taban, of course, of course, or bitaba, bitaba, of course, and these both are synonym. You can use both of them. Lazim, lazim, must or should or have to or has to. Emily, Emily, I fill out, and the root for this verb is mele, mele. And yimli, yimli. For example, any emlil stemara. I fill out the form or I fill out the document. Stemara. And stemara means form or document. Plural one is stemarat. Stemarat. Forms or documents. Awaqqa. Awaqqa. Awaqqa means I sign. And the root for this verb is waqqa yuwaqqa. Waqqa yuwaqqa. With knowing this root, you can conjugate it for anybody. A'ruf. A'ruf. And A'ruf means I know. I know. And the root for past tense is A'ruf. A'ruf. He knew. And for he knows, for present tense, we say Yaruf. Yaruf. And the last word of this lesson is Miktib. Miktib. Miktib means office. And plural one is Miktib. Miktib. Offices. Miktib and Miktib. And the last point of today's lesson is so important. From right now on, we try to write like Iraqi people. In Arabic, particularly in Iraqi dialect, there are some alphabets. We write them in a certain ways, but we pronouncing them, we read them in a different ways. Okay, the way we write them and the way we read them is so different. For example, we write k k. But we have to read them or pronouncing them g. For example, agdar, agdar, agdar. But we have to write them ektar, ektar, okay? Because in Arabic keywords, we don't have g. Then we have to write k, k. We have to pronounce it agdar, for example. But we have to write it ektar, okay?
Get it? But there are some other alphabet like J and Ch. In this case, we write J, J, but we have to pronounce it, pronounce it as a Ch, Ch. We write J, J, but we have to pronounce it Ch, Ch. Okay, guys, we have done with this part, part one of this lesson. And in the next part, part two, we're going to have some grammatical terms and important expressions. See you there. Bye-bye.